Hi, it's Mike Swanson. I'm in Las Vegas. I want to show you the look outside of my window. I think you saw the pool. I'm staying at Bowie's. And uh, I'm on a business trip, but it's vacation too. But I want to take some time out to talk to you about the uh, stock market. Um, and as most of you know on the website, I'm actually short the market. I've been saying that I think it has topped out for the past couple of weeks now, around the 950 level in the S&P 500. And the market's actually fallen uh, four weeks in a row right now. Uh, but I think there's a good chance that we could see some sort of bounce or rally next week because the earnings are going to start to come out on Thursday with uh, IBM and JP Morgan kicking off the announcements. And normally when the stock market falls into uh, the earnings season, it tends to rally at the beginning of it and vice versa. The market rallies in the earnings. Usually then it kind of pauses or or take some, you see some profit taking on the rally into it. And since we've fallen into earnings, I'm kind of expect to see some sort of bounce here take place at some point this week. So I'm actually considering taking some profits on uh, my short positions this week. And, and if I do, you know, I'll send out an email alert uh, to all of the, you know, premium members of the website. Um, but I want to talk a little bit about you know, going forward from there, uh, forgetting about whatever the market does this week. What we've seen the past couple weeks uh, seems very similar to what we saw last year when the stock market topped out in that summer. And if you remember, we had a pullback into July and then a bounce into August on very thin uh, volume. But the thing that is striking to me right now is that the market is traded on this pullback so far just like it did last year, right when it peaked uh, last summer. And the similarities are the market's been dropping um, off a high, and the VIX hasn't really gone up much. In fact, the VIX is lower today than it was a couple of weeks ago. Uh, and normally, you, that's a bad sign, because what it means is that people aren't getting really anxious, even though the market's pulling back. And that's bad if you're you know, in a bear market or, or whatever, because you want to see people get fearful on the declines, because that's how declines come to an end. And this rally started, in fact, with sentiment extremely bullish, according to various investor sentiment surveys. For instance, the Investors Intelligence Survey showed a record number of, well, not a record number, but a high number of bulls, higher than any point uh, seen in the past year. So it's a record for the past 14 months or so. And on this decline so far, we haven't seen to put the call ratio go above one for any meaningful amount of time. And what that means is that during this entire decline so far, people have been buying more calls and puts, betting that the market decline is just going to end and we're going to go back up. Well, if we bounce from here this week, you know, I think we can see the S&P 500 go up to 905 to 920 even possibly. But I think that would be the extent of a rally, and we'd probably just see the market drift sideways and then turn right back down. And I think that whole scenario would be very negative, and again, real similar to what we saw happen last year in July and August. I was actually hoping here, you know, I did think, you know, a couple weeks ago the market was making a major top or important top, but I was actually hoping the market would pull back very quickly and more than it has so far, and you'd see some fear come into the market too. And I think if that happened, we'd be set up for a nice rally back up to the May highs of 950 and the S&P 500 and possibly even break them. And if we break that high this year, I think we're going into a new bull market. Uh, so I think that 950 level is the key level to be watching from now on to, to you know, January or whatever. Um, but if we don't break that level this year, then we're going to see the market instead you know, head back down to the March lows at some point. So bottom line is I think right now uh, we are oversold on a short-term basis. We're going into earnings. Uh, there's a good chance we'll get some sort of bounce, but I wouldn't really try to buy into it because for now it does seem like the trend is down, so any bounce would be very short-lived. In fact, I'd be looking to, you know, add on to short positions on a bounce or take profits before it and then short again. Uh, because I think we're going to see more selling uh, after the bounce comes to an end. And then, you know, once we get a real 
end of this correction. Bottom, I guess you could put it this way. Bottom line is, I think the market made a major top, 950 and S&P 500 were due for some sort of temporary bounce within a corrective downtrend. And then once that downtrend comes to an end, uh, which I don't think will happen on a bounce here, but a further decline later, then we can look to go long and, and possibly play a rally back up to the highs. But for now, I just think it's best to, you know, be cautious on the market. If you have short positions like I do, you might want to take some profits in case we get a rally. But keep in mind that there's no real sign if we get a rally here that we've seen any sort of panic in the market or any signs of any sort of real washout. So if we do get a rally, just... See it as a temporary affair. If you're long, you might want to lighten up on positions. And we're monitoring what goes on in the market all the time. Even if, you know, in Las Vegas or traveling, I'm still keeping an eye on things. And um, we'll keep keeping in touch with you and so forth. And um, we'll be probably actually going to probably make some more videos and so forth. I actually just came from a panel I was on with Dave Skrikas down with me here, too. And a couple other people were here. I uh, actually went to a lunch today with Steve Forbes of Forbes Magazine. Uh, with, and it wasn't just me and him talking, it was you know, like 50 other people or something. It was pretty fun and it's all kinds of interesting uh, people at this conference. Uh, and actually going to meet a couple of the subscribers too uh, before I go back home. So it's a real uh, fun trip and the uh, stock market's been fun the past couple of weeks too. And hopefully we'll, you know, keeping the right direction of things. So be talking to you later.